Hello friends, this is Kalyan. The first article today is from Liamint about National Anti-Profiteering Authority. After the introduction of GST, the profits or benefits have been enjoyed by the business houses. They are not passed to the ultimate consumer. So this is creating some problem. So the government is very serious that GST should be very well welcomed and received by the public to control any issues and problems the government has created national anti-profiteering authority one important point here is sunset clause sunset clause defines the period which the body exists here it is two years after two years the body will stop to exist automatically both the hindu editorial and live mint argues that the focus should be on areas where market can be manipulated by big businesses or businesses of certain nature so that it will help reduce the burden on investigation and act as a deterrent for any other who are trying to profit from gst the next article is also from live mint it's about state's capacity that are the other argues that almost all of india's governance problem are linked to lack of manpower she cites few examples. For example, there are only 12 to 15 judges in India for 1 million. Based on Bureau of Police Research and Development, there are only 156 police personnel per 1 lakh population, whereas UN sanctioned ratio is 222 for 1 lakh. Also, there are only one police, one female officer for every 3,500 odd women. So she cites that the manpower mismatch is huge the reasons are state's budget state's capacity to fund train and maintain such huge workforces is not there because of low tax paying ratio second problem is skilled manpower not enough skilled people are there for specialized jobs the other argues that when state is already overburdened overburdened because of its regulation it has been facing more problems for example she cites a check bounce case when it's a matter of two people when a check is bounced because of you know lack of funds it becomes a state's issue because of criminalization of trivial matters so she says that once if the state is freed from all these things its capacity to focus on the areas that matters most will increase that is the crux of the article and the final article is today is universal health coverage day so accumulating all the data from various articles here are few interesting facts only 27 percent of indians are insured that is 100 crores indians are not insured for any health problem so this is a very risky scenario the second inter interesting fact is national health health account data recently released says that medicines are the primary reasons for out-of-pocket expenditure as much as 42 percent of all medical expenditure goes only on medicines remember this okay so coming back to universal health coverage day the health ministry has launched two initiatives one is laksha initiative that is provide better institutional de deliveries and improve the quality of the labor room the second initiative is m health which trains the health workers through videos and develop their skills so that they can help better institutional deliveries.